Polymove has their engine fired up, and now the process will begin for Toom, and we'll see them head out here for the finals. About ready to go. Well, that's really good news. Toom was the most recent to go through the start procedure. They're already off and running. We should be moving on to the finals here shortly, but first, one more update from Katie. Here we are, 125. Visibly, you can see the speeds picking up. Toom maintains that speed to the inside. Poly move around the outside, looking comprehensive. Getting that move done well before start finish. Yeah. And at this high speed, they're not going to have a ton of time to do it. Toom, though, makes it look easy. Toom Autonomous Motorsport sweeps past. The champions from Indianapolis live to race on. And now we move to 130 miles per hour. Into the passing zone now. Here comes Polly Move. Trying to make that pass here in the exit of turn four. Speeds up near 150 miles per hour. The pass is complete and still plenty of room to work with even before start finish. And looking at the telemetry and Toom is going. They are attacking now. Moving to the outside at 153 miles per hour. Toom Autonomous Motorsport has moved on. We saw that in the semifinal. Here we go, 135 and Poly Move moves to the outside of Toom. Uh, so we'll see as the, as the speeds get higher how they how they navigate this. Can Toom answer the bell? The answer is a definitive yes. At 135 miles per hour, both teams able to move on. Here we go for the first time ever at 140 miles per hour. The attack is on. Here comes Poly Move working the outside lane, accelerating up to nearly 160 miles an hour. Topped off at 157, and the pass is complete still with plenty of time. You can see the difference in approach. Later moving to the outside to make the pass. Looks like they'll have this closed off. This guy entering into turn one. Came down, no problem. That's great. 145 miles per hour. Yes, 145 miles per hour. Here comes Poly Move, cranking up the speed, approaching 170, making the pass at 167 miles per hour. Toom starting to crank up the speed, accelerating to 160 now. 165 down the front straightaway. And Toom Autonomous Motorsport completes that challenge. We move to the next tier of 150 miles per hour. Toom maintains that 150 mile per hour speed. Poly move accelerating to the outside, 168 through the corners, nearly to 169. Now they crack 169, accelerating oh. onto the front stretch and a spin from Toom down to the infield and able to continue on. No damage to the car, but what does that mean for Toom? I think like that is over. day yep. done. Yeah, they will not be able to pass. So the champions from Indianapolis come up just short. We reached the 150 mile per hour barrier. Poly move blasted through it and Toom did not. There is the elation in the Poly move pits. They are the champions of the Autonomous Challenge at CES. Very deserving of, the, of this award. They did a great job. They've really overcome a lot of uh, a lot of barriers to get here. And again, land speed records now uh, holders and also the champions here. Well, I think it's clear that this is this is the sort of thing that just hasn't been done. This is this is clearly pushing the limits and the boundary, and and we see, you know, exactly how close to the limit we really were this afternoon, uh, with the with the tomb car just just barely losing the grip to make it through the corner. This is a, the sort of, from my point of view, a bit of a compensation of what we lost in Indianapolis in October. Very happy. All my team uh, has been working a lot uh, for this. Uh, and uh, we are really happy because uh, we, um, I think we, we got some result uh, out of a lot of work. Uh, and I think this is what, what we, 
really want to have. If you work, if you work a lot, uh, sooner or later, maybe sometimes we are unlucky, but at the end of the story, you get some result.